Hey, what's going on? This is Liam from Liam Stops Tinnitus. And I want to make a quick video here just about how to properly interact with me and Liam Stops Tinnitus to get the absolute best benefit and have the best chance of beating your tinnitus. So this is just based on thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of emails of people contacting me over the last probably six months. So I get a lot of people contacting me, correspondents, Instagram, people finding my personal Facebook page, which is fine, absolutely fine. I believe that if I'm going to put myself out there on the internet and say, hey, I can uh, get rid of tinnitus, then you have every right to say, oh my God, this is amazing. What do you have to say and contact me? So I just want to break down how you can contact me, what's appropriate and what's not appropriate at all. So first of all, please, you know, try and get in contact with me. But there are some steps that I want you to take before you do that. So the first step that I want you to do is to remember that I'm a person too. I have to help thousands of people. I'm currently traveling through the United States, filming doctors, paying a shit ton of money, running on a deficit, counting down the days till I can fly back to Thailand, making sure I can fly back there just so I can survive. I have a lot of things on my mind. I have to solve a lot of problems. I have to put together the documentary. I have to edit it. I have to try and release um, some sort of uh, clinical trial, sort of anecdotal clinical trial. It's not going to be properly reviewed by a doctor or anything like that because I wouldn't want that. But I've got to go organize all this stuff. All over. I'm going to go to Panama now. Um, I'm going to try and go to Mexico and Canada to film all these people and doctors who are amazing just so I can help you. So I want you to keep that in mind when I don't respond to your message. Now, if I don't respond to your message, here's probably what's happened. My email inbox, liam at liamsubsnitis.com, I pretty much just stopped opening that now because here's what's happening. I think this is, this is what happens when people find me online. They, they search for their, they're freaking out about their tinnitus, absolutely no problem at all. The doctor said they can't fix it. Um, you know, parents say just deal with it. Their friends are like, oh, that sucks. Can't you just, you know, is it that bad really? And that's awful. So you find me. So I'm glad to be someone who can be, be here and help you find me. And the first thing you do is figure out how to contact me and say, hi, Liam, maybe you'll give me the whole story in about a thousand words. Maybe you'll say, hi, Liam, uh, please tell me what's the solution for tinnitus. Thanks. Maybe you'll say, hi, Liam, uh, what's a couple of your videos? How long should I fast for to get rid of tinnitus? Thanks. Say, hey, Liam, um, can you please tell me your whole story about tinnitus? Thanks. Say, hey, Liam, um, just wondering how long until my tinnitus goes away until I do this? Thanks. All of these answers <coughs> are available for free. So if you go to my YouTube channels, plural, um, tinnitus treatment, the first one, or Liam stops tinnitus, which is what you're watching this on, or my Instagram, which is Liam underscore stops underscore tinnitus, or my Facebook, which is Liam underscore stops underscore tinnitus. You can go on all those social profiles, and if you, if you don't know how to do that, then that's not my problem. Go on those social profiles, figure it out, ask your grandson or ask your friend, whatever it's going to be. Go on those profiles and have a look at all the information, every single thing that's there, and you'll find that the question, sorry, the answer to your question will be there. Um, it's in one form or another. There's, I think it's like about a hundred videos now on varying topics. So you'll find that the answer will be there. Um, and also if you want to get um, more information, you can click below, get my free ebook. And I also send follow-up emails with even more information that's current. So that way you know that everything that I'm putting out, even the videos that are eight months old or longer, they still apply today. Nothing is outdated as I've seen in my video videos. Second thing is, here's how to contact me properly. So you've gone through your guide, you've gone through the free ebook, you've got to get that too, you've got to get everything, I don't see why you wouldn't, it's all, it's all there, get the free ebook, everything, and you just start to apply it, okay? Don't contact me unless you started to apply it, okay? Obviously I want you to talk to your doctor first, go speak to your doctor and say, hey, look, I'm just wondering um, what you think about this. Maybe you're on some sort of medication that's it's dangerous to fast on, allegedly, Maybe this, maybe that, maybe you're old. Make sure you have a person helping you, but speak to your doctor first, and then it's up to you whether you're going to apply it or not. It's a, life is your decision. No one's going to hold your hand and tell you to do it. Because what I'm seeing is people will constantly contact me and say, Liam, like, um, 
Uh, you, people want to know that it's exactly, they want to know exactly what tinnitus is, exactly what causes it, all the science behind it, and they want to know exactly that my advice will work 100% and will basically cure them within, you know, and how, I want to know how long it's going to take, how hard it's going to be. And they want that from me, just over a, from a couple of words. I mean, that's a lot to ask. And I get that probably 20 times a day. Just people to ask me on Instagram, Facebook, that exact thing. Hey, Liam, what's, just wondering if you tell me what, my, what caused my tinnitus, how to get rid of it, how long it'll take if I apply your stuff. I'm just hesitant to apply your stuff before it goes away. Thanks, bye. I mean, that shows a lot of a, a lack of social awareness to do that. I'm still a human being. I still have to, you know, live my life. By the way, I don't have a life at the moment because I chose to do this documentary, which is fine. But just I see where I'm coming from with that. I still have a lot of work to do. I still have to fly to Chicago tomorrow. I still have to pay so much money for an Airbnb. A lot of money, let's just say, so much money. Then I have to drive a car for four hours in the free... Go, go check the temperature of Chicago now. I've got to rent a car, drive it on the wrong side of the road, which I've never done, to go meet a doctor. Get on my camera gear. I'm going to have to repair my camera gear because it broke last night. Get a working microphone. Go stay in this hotel, which I, you know, hopefully have a room. Um, film a doctor for only about 45 minutes. And then I have to drive back to Chicago for four hours. Then I've got to fly to um, Texas and organize some stuff over there and try and figure out how I'm going to afford to live there. Then I've got to you know, organize the doctors and do this and ENTs. Then I've got to do Skype calls with people um, to interview. Then I've got to fly back to, um, uh, I think I'm going to go back to LA to film a few more people, a few more ENTs and doctors. Then I've got to pay about $1,300 to fly back to Thailand and then try and basically, hopefully I have enough money to, li to live off that and that's what I'm doing now so that's if you're wondering what I'm doing with my time that's what I'm doing with my time. but it's of course it's all for tonight and helping you guys so if you're not applying the advice before you reach out to me what do you want from me and if you're not applying it properly that's the thing people say hey Liam I've been applying your advice for and this is no one specific person this is lots of people I'm not saying it to you I'm just saying this is what to avoid if you want any chance of me responding to you, which I will gladly do in a second and tell you how you should do that. But people say, hey, Liam, I've been applying your advice for one month, two months, and it's not working. I say, okay, well, tell me about the fasting. Oh, I haven't done the fasting yet, but you know, I just thought I'd like take it slow. You said you could take it slow. And I said, great, yeah, you can take it slow. So um, if you, what else have you done? They say, oh, well, I've done this, I've cut out this, and it's, that's fantastic. So now we've got to bring in the fasting. Now we've got to do this, and you go, okay, and then maybe the next day they say, hey, Liam, like, I'm just wondering why it isn't working yet. I say, well, you know, it's not working because, you know, you've done this, this, and this, and that's great. You've slowly got, you've slowly started doing it, but now it's bringing the feisty, and they go, oh, will it work? So they're just avoiding the hard work. I mean, and when those people message me enough and just, you know, talk about how they try, and they, you've got to be honest with yourself too. Are you just, are you just, do you really want to know the science or do you just not want to put in the hard work? Because you can see the testimonials on my Instagram. You can see the people 100% silencing their tinnitus. Most people just get to about down to a one and they go, I'm out. And they just, they tap out, time out, whatever it is. They just go, I get all people all the time who get to a one, two, three, go, that's good enough for me. Who get it down from a 10, they go, that's good enough for me. Thanks, Liam. See you later. And that's awesome. So most people are like that. You'll see on my YouTube channels and testimonials and um, <clears throat> Instagram, that's what you'll see. But, and then there's people who are, you know, they don't want to do the whole, the, the full thing and do it properly and even work their way up, which is what I advise. Um, and message me every day and go, Lee, and when I don't respond after 24 hours, go, Liam, 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 hey. I mean, the, can you imagine how when I'm trying to work on this and help everybody, that's unbelievably annoying. So that's when you get blocked. That's when you get blocked. I'll just ignore you. I have to focus on other things. You've shown me that you're not going to put in the effort, so I can't put my time in with you. Remember, guys, I'm not, a th I'm not your friend. I'm not a therapist. I'm somebody who's trying my hardest to get rid of tinnitus. The world is not a nice, friendly, happy place. The world is very hard. The world is very stressful. And nobody gives a shit about you more than you. Nobody does. Your mother, your brother, your spouse, your dog, your cat, whatever. Nobody gives a fuck about you as much as you do, more than you do, more than you can. 
No one can change you more than you can. Dr. Mao said, um, when I interviewed him yesterday, you can check that video, he said, he said, you know what the thing is to people? He said, um, and Dr. Schmidt said the exact same thing. He said, the defining factor that's going to determine a person's ability to heal themselves, because it is their body that heals themselves. You can't heal the body, he said. He said, you can only put the body in a state that allows it to heal itself, what I've been saying for a year now. And he said, the determining factor is whether or not that person can get put their fear aside, put their judgments aside, and apply what we advise them to do. And I was like, thank you. Somebody speaks my language, right? Um, so take that home with you. And that's Dr. Mao, who knows a lot more about the body and a lot more about health than I do. He's a um, qualified medical doctor, an Eastern doctor, East, sorry, Chinese um, herbal doctor. Heals people with tinnitus. Uh, that's why I interviewed him, obviously. And he's a 38th generation Chinese medicine herbalist. Um, you should hear his story. It's fantastic. He was paralyzed from the neck down and his dad healed him with acupuncture and herbs. So amazing, right? Just truly amazing story. And then he got into the Chinese medicine, which is fascinating. Okay, so let's talk about how you can actually contact me. So if you started applying the advice, even bits of it, even parts of it, hey, Liam, I started applying this, this, and this. Um, and maybe you can tell me about some sort of side effect. Maybe you're getting headaches. Maybe you're getting um, dizzy. Maybe you're losing too much weight. Maybe you're getting acne. Maybe you're um, having trouble sleeping or you're always tired or something like that. And these are detox side effects. Maybe you're getting toothaches because you're pulling the toxins out from your brain. Um, maybe you're anything, any, any range of things that just came up from following my um, advice. I would love to help you out. I'd love to um, show you how to do that. So those are the kinds of people who I will help. So if you actually, because everything is here, the whole thing is on, is on YouTube and the free ebook and Instagram and Facebook and my other YouTube channel. There's a lot of information there. And I've gone, I've gone a bit um, more and I've, I've put an FAQ. So if you click down underneath this video, um, where it, I think it would just be liamstopsonitis.com forward slash FAQ, you can go there and read a quick FAQ. Um, and one more bit of advice. I want you to pick one thing. Go find anybody that you like on YouTube who claims they can help. And when I say claims, I mean myself included. I'm not um, belittling anybody else. So someone who claims they can get rid of your tinnitus, okay? Myself, Julian Cohen Hill. Um, I know there's a few other people there who, who can help with tinnitus. Even some doctors who just made one single video about tinnitus and they say, this is the way I think you should do it. Excellent. Absolutely fantastic. There are a lot of people out there with a lot of good things to say about tinnitus. Excellent things to say. So pick one person. Me, Julian, um, anyone else, anyone else. Pick one person. Absorb everything they have to say and then just do it. Just do it. You know that video of Shia LaBeouf who goes, do it! Just do I can feel that. I'm like, yes. Like, I, I know it's like a spoof or like, even if it's not a spoof, it's a bit crazy or whatever, but it makes, it just made so much, it wasn't, it was, I never laughed at it. I never once laughed at that video because I, that was back when that came out, I was still beating tonight. And I go, yes, I know. And all these people are commenting, oh, he's going crazy. What an idiot. Like, huh? Like, like what well, is he's such a loser, blah, blah, blah. That was, that seemed like stupid people to me, really stupid people because he gets it. I mean, never forget, Shia LaBeouf is a millionaire A-list celebrity who's famous. And who, who's everybody else? Like, he's very... Not that he knows more, but he's successful. So don't you think he'd know what it takes to succeed in something? And acting... I'm here in LA, and like, the, the base camp of acting, it's rough out here. It is rough. Like, it's, you meet actors, and it's like... Pff, it is rough. Seriously rough. So if he can do that, um, you know, just, just pick one thing. And then when you pick that one thing, just... Do it and don't listen to anybody else. Don't, if you pick someone else, don't listen to me. Don't watch my videos. Don't go on forums. Don't Google how to fix tinnitus. Don't look at this new cure or this new ad or this new supplement. Or maybe you should add this and do this. Or, you know, even if I post a video that looks really tempting, don't watch it. Don't watch it. Just focus on one thing. And I don't think, oh my God, do I have this now? Is that this? No. Who cares if you have that? Who gives a fuck? Just do one thing for two months three months, and then see how it goes. And that's the thing, if you thought just then, two months, three months, that's so long, I wanna get rid of it now. 
you gave yourself tinnitus. Whatever you did took a long time getting there, and so it's not going to be a quick route back. And you should be glad that I'm not sitting here telling you, here's my one day solution, just pay me $10,000 and I'll do it, because there are some people who do that. And I got sucked into a few of those. You think I didn't bust my balls trying to figure this shit out and travel the world and probably cry every single day? Yeah, I did that. I'm no stranger to to fear and um, basically feeling hopeless and alone and sad and depressed and suicidal and everything in between. I've been through all that. What you see now is the end result of that. Someone who doesn't, I don't have to be your friend. I don't have to do all that. And I don't feel compelled to do that in even the slightest. I'm not going to be rude to you. I'll never be mean to you. But I'll never spend my time doing things that I know I shouldn't be doing, which is answering repetitive questions from people who won't even follow my guide. What do you want from me? I'm not a therapist. Go find a talk therapist. Go find somebody who deals with people who have depression and fear and anxiety. That's not what I do. I don't want to talk about that. It's not my specialty. Maybe there's some friend or family or someone you can talk to. You know, for example, if you, um, let's say that you're depressed and you go to a medical doctor, they're going to send you to a psychiatrist or a psychologist. Hopefully they won't just prescribe you Zoloft. I don't think they can do that on the spot, can they? But you see what I'm saying there? You go to a medical doctor about depression, they're going to send you to um, a psychiatrist or a psychologist or some, hopefully a, some, not someone who's going to sell you drugs. You see what I mean? It's not their specialty. It's not what they do. And it would be an injustice for them to spend time with you talking about your feelings and how sad you are because, frankly, it's not what I do. and what I, don't, I don't know why I don't want to hear that. And it's, this sounds very harsh, but trust me, it's the, it's the way my dad raised me back in Australia. And I wouldn't be here right now if I wasn't this rough. And I'm not about to change it and become weaker. If I was weaker, I probably wouldn't have flown all over the world right now trying to figure out how to get rid of this thing in my ears, which is gone now. And then I wouldn't have thought, you know what, I'm going to go film a documentary on it because there's not that, you know, there's not a whole lot of information about food and other methods connected to tinnitus all in one where people can just get it like that and just go, wow, this is great, other people's opinions. So, you know, think about, um, the, think about what you're doing. Think about the comments that you're writing. Be honest. I remember I had a comment once and it was somebody who said, Liam, like, I don't really, you know, no, they said, Liam, what if you can't fast? And I said, okay, well, what's, what's the reason behind the fact that you can't fast? And he said, oh, well, just what if you can't fast? And I said, do you even have a reason that you can't fast? And they go, yeah, okay, okay, what's the reason that you can't fast? And then finally they were like, okay, like I was just too worried to fast. Like I didn't want to do it. So, um, you know, I didn't, I just was making up excuses and they came clean. So that's why I don't answer those messages anymore because that was about 15 minutes of my day going back and forth until they finally crumbled. You got to be honest with yourself, guys. It's so funny how many people will post all these posts on Instagram and Facebook, like, send me to the wolves and I'll come back leading the herd or, or leading, the, leading the group or something like that. Or they'll post like, you know those ones, like all those motivations where it's like, hustle, st struggle, hustle, thrive, like, and then hashtag king or something like that. It's the Instagram posts or it's like, don't worry what other people think, um, just do your own thing and you'll succeed. Those are the people who are seriously got problems going on in their mind, they post these like things. Because why would you post it on social media? Hang it up in your fucking wall, print it off, put a nice frame on it, get it nice and laminated, even put your fucking signature on it and put it where no one else can see it, on your wall. That would make sense. But to post it for the world to see, for no other reason than to show people how you know, strong you are, that shows a serious lack of a quality of uh, character to me. And it's the people that do that that are often the ones that crumble um, when I don't actually come to their, absolutely come to their beck and call. So if you're wondering why I might not respond to your message, go back, have a look at these videos, um, this video, and then go through everything and try and get a, a gain on your, uh, your emotions. And remember that I'm here for you, I'm here to help, on my terms. That's what I'm doing. I'm helping on my terms. You can't just walk into a doctor's office and say, I want help now. I want it this way. And I want you to help me with this, with a cure. And I want it to be this. And I want the cure to work like this. And I want to get it now. Put it on my tongue. 
doctor would go, you're fucking crazy. You can't, you know, your house can't be burning down from over that side. And you go, okay, fire, I want you to stop. I want you to stop like this. Um, I'm going to spit on you once and it should go down. And then if it doesn't go down instantly, then it's your fault. That person's fucking crazy. You can't get in the car in LA and go, all right, I want there to be no traffic and I'm going to go to LA. I'm going to go to Los, uh, I'm going to go to San Diego and the music, the radio, the radio is going to be really funny and it's going to be like this and that's the way I want it. And that's that. People in the car would be, am I riding with this fucking guy? I think fucking, fucking crazy. You, you see what I'm getting at here? There's, everybody's different. You're going to have to tweak things anyway. I can give you, you know, all the advice in the world, but sometimes you don't have to tweak things. But just do it my way first. Do one thing, as I said. So I hope that's, you know, giving you, I hope that's motivated you, to be honest. That I'm not just some person who's like nancy pansy and nice and will always, you know, be so friendly and cuddle you and call you and all this shit. Because I'm not that person, because I don't want to be that person. I know plenty of people. I know this girl who I used to know back in Chiang Mai used to say, oh, I love when people tell me their problems. It's their, um, tell me how they feel and stuff. It's their, it's my favorite part of the job. I said, are you fucking crazy? Like, Jesus. And she was a, a fitness trainer. It's like, you know, it's like, it doesn't even relate. It doesn't even like, fine. If she wants to do it, go for it. That's great. I was just very interested in how she liked doing that. But you, that's not, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm not going to talk about it. And if you look at anybody who's ever done anything great, not that I consider myself great, but I consider what I consider what I'm doing to be great work. They don't spend time doing things that don't benefit the people they're trying to help. So if I'm trying to help you, and person X over here is constantly saying, "Liam, Liam, I feel bad. What should I do? Liam, how long should I fast? Blah blah blah. What if I'm a vegetarian? Da 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 da." All this sort of stuff. Have you tried it yet? No. When should I start? Should I start tomorrow? Like, I don't, I don't think I should do it. Da, da, da. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. What about this video here? Should I do this? Do you know this person? I'm not going to be able to give you as much attention as I would love to. So, that's that. Good fucking luck.